I'm uh, Doug Jipping and I teach science to 9th and 10th graders. I teach biology. I've been teaching at CCS since the fall of 1993 when I finished college and looked like I was 12. And uh, <laughs> no, but so since 1993, I've been teaching at CCS. It's the only place I've ever taught. I love science because it's just about discovering, you know, what the world is about, what's around us, and understanding basically everything around us, how it's put together, why it is the way it is. I just find that fascinating. Science is sort of founded on the idea of thinking critically about what's around us. The natural process of learning about our world is a process in which you think what we'd say critically. You, you're taking a process of thinking from the basic components to the more complex and trying to understand that and understand patterns and implications. You know, what does that mean? What kind of predictions can we make based on the patterns we understand? And that's, that's just what I think of as critical thinking. And so I've always had this interest of asking why questions, of trying to understand. I think that is what led me to science, but that's also then what I emphasize in teaching. I just don't want to throw out a, a bunch of information necessarily. I want, I want to think through where does that information come from? What does it mean? What are the implications? How do people view this information differently? And really trying to understand it from different angles. When you learn to think critically, you are less susceptible to what the Bible refers to as, you know, like hollow and false teaching in all areas. I believe that better prepares students to deal with challenges to their beliefs uh, about anything. Um, and especially challenges to their faith. I think we should think critically about our faith. We should be able to read the Bible critically and, and think through what do these components that we're learning in the Bible mean and how do we apply them to life? And that, that's the same process we do in science. I think I, my classes probably leave students with realizing they can work harder, learn more. They're capable of more than they thought they were. You know, they can do some difficult things and, and learn some challenging concepts and ideas and that they can carry that with them in the future too. I definitely hope that for the rest of their life after leaving CCS, they would both be able to recognize the beauty and the purpose and, and the wonder of creation from a, a real biblical perspective, but also their own abilities and gifts that are probably more than they thought. If some of those kind of things can happen, then I feel like I've, I've done my job. <laughs>